I want to take a call from Dino from River Edge. How are you doing, Dino? Yes, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I wanted to make a comment. Uh, I feel that property taxes should be frozen several years to help people stay in their homes and to help strengthen the housing market. Well, you're in New Jersey, so you've seen property taxes get bumped up, 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 and up over as far as I can remember in New Jersey. I, I remember uh, my parents uh, bought our home in River Edge, and back then it was uh, the, the property taxes were like a thousand dollars a year, and now they're almost ten thousand. Yeah, and the, and you know what? Here's the good news. I'm jealous of you guys in New Jersey because I live in New York, and we don't have Chris Christie. And Chris Christie is going to do probably exactly what you're talking about. He is, I mean, look, this election coming up in November, it seems as though anybody who gets elected from either party is going to have to say that they're going to freeze spending or reduce spending and try to cut taxes where they can, or at least promise not to raise taxes if they have a prayer of getting elected. Uh, that's certainly the case in, in the governor's uh, race in New York. But you've already got your tax cutter down there in Trenton. And, and um, the goal should be to make us less dependent on uh, uh, property taxes. I know that's very difficult to do because uh, we say that uh, schools are local, um, uh, uh, police is, is a local issue, um, but I feel that it would be cheaper per household if everybody uh, pays in like at the state level. Yeah, I'll tell you something interesting. I... I got delusional one day not long ago and thought about running for mayor of my city. And because uh, they asked me, and that's kind of fun to be asked. And so I started researching the budget, the school budget in my city and uh, and the budget process. And I read through this, the controller's report that explains how they arrive at the budget. And here's how they arrive at the budget. They figure out everything they want to spend the money on first, Okay. And when they're done figuring out all the money they want to spend, then they look at how much money they think they're going to bring in. And if there is a shortfall, they divide it up among the taxpayers. It's the exact opposite of what we do in business. In business, we figure out how much money we're going to bring in and then figure out how much we want to make in profit. And then whatever's left, we figure out how we're going to spend that in order to make sure we support the activity that will generate the income. Uh, government does it backwards. And when I saw the process explained in the narrative, it kind of sickened me because it's so lazy. You know, you figure out how much you need, then you figure out how much you're going to get, and then you look at all the taxpayers and say, everyone's going to pay their share of what we think that we all need. And meanwhile, the mentality in my community was, don't raise our taxes. And they did. They bumped up the city taxes for real estate up, uh, I want to say, 18% uh, last year as a result of that exercise. So I think we all know that there has to be a fundamental change in the, in the way we do things in government and, and who does them is probably the quickest way to get there. Uh, but that process right there is certainly not going to get anybody to a place where there's responsible spending going on. But thank you, Dino. I appreciate that. I think your sentiment is shared by a lot of people.